Hello and welcome to the next part of Let's Play Tomb Raider Underworld. I'm just finishing off Coastal Thailand as I decided to use the checkpoint just before the end of the level so you could see the end of the level cutscene and the intro to the next level. I'll make it more clear. Find anything? There was a map, but Father destroyed it. Well, the acorn certainly didn't fall very far from the tree. He did it deliberately, to keep the information from Natla. But I'm sure he recorded everything first, and what's more, he found Thor's other gauntlet. Where'd he put it? Right under your nose. So where we last left off, we discovered that her father had signed something as RJC. He never used his middle initial, that was referring to his, his father. And so we are on our way to disturb and defile the tomb of Lara's grandfather in order to find goodies. And today, hmm, casual, jungle sorts or jungle, I'm going to go with casual. And we'll go to the submachine guns. He must have discovered something very dangerous to destroy such an important archaeological site. Or maybe he just likes shooting rocks. Unfortunately, I've been somewhat delayed for a variety of reasons. Two of the reasons are Modern Warfare 2 and Dragon Age Origins, both of which A, took up hard drive space, which is a precious little of, and uh, B, well, I, I, I wanted to play them because I wanted to see if they were any good, and yeah, obviously, you've got to play a game as soon as possible, otherwise you might as well not play it at all. And uh, I have to say, I was somewhat disappointed by Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> My apologies, Lady Croft, but I have not tended to the crypt. Why didn't you ever tell us this was down here? Yeah, I wish I still didn't know. You know what? I'll wait up here. I did warn you that playing your music so loud could wake the dead. a good kicking and scoop up our first treasure. That's what the, the good pots look like in this level. So anyway, low hanging fruit as they say. Let's monkey climb this. I haven't played this in quite some time so I'm probably going to have difficulty with the controls. I have been playing Escape from Butcher Bay which is actually remarkably good for a game that is ostensibly a vehicle for Vin Diesel. Is there anything up there? Yes there is. And here we go to the vast underground crypt. We come to the infinite numbers of bats. We'll obviously be living down here because, as we all know, bats love living in dark places. Although you would have thought they love living in dark places where they could then go outside and fight insects, but there we are. No more. So, anyway, in fact, I'll, I'll stand here just to give a quick surveying of the scene. Go away, away. Uh, what we have here. Pretty much. So here's the scaffolding, already sure why it's there, with the occasional bit of an anachronistic electrical cable to wire up the lights. Because I think they had an interesting debate on what the sources of light would be for each level. For example, in the Mediterranean level, they used these kind of magic torches that burned using magic oil that comes from God knows where. <laughs> nice, Lara, nice. Vault it. Come on. Climb up, please. There we are. 
see, the thing is, the animations in the small motion capture, so they're quite fluid, but they tend to have difficulty when they join to each other. As you see there, you see like, that little jerk there? That's one motion capture animation, segues into the next. Segues into the next, rather. Delicious treasure. When, for example, ooh, spiders. Get off. When, for example, she's going down the stairs. Um, with Alistair and Zip earlier. You might have noticed that the animation was very fluid, but their faces looked rather odd. Oh dear, that was... retarded. Okay. Sorry for the gap there, I was interrupted. Anyway, um, having got down here, we can have a quick look around and what we see with this angel-like statue with a head broken off. It's quite pretty. The environment is in general quite nice looking. They've gone with quite a sort of medieval style of architecture with the funny looking faces, the water spirits and so on. It'd be great. But in the medieval see the values of a good push plate puzzle. So we have this plate opens up the fire and these two open. So this implies there's something we can dump on this in order to keep it down in order to get to that. First, a treasure. We must be rescued. Ooh. Also here's another thing to get there's an inscription on this floor. What does it say? Um, I can't read that. Taurus Ovi Oviet something. Seems to put an on. Yeah, that's close. Oh, oops. Closer look with that. Thing. Taurus Ovi Oviet something BA. It is certainly Latin, but I can't make out what it says. Which is annoying, because I can actually read Latin. <laughs> oh. anyway, what I'm going to do now is go up the right side, because having gone up the left and gathered the treasure here, we can see that there is, in fact, a similar looking construction over here. These elements, so we'll whiz our way out. I've been playing Escape from Butcher Bay, which is a remarkably good game. Um, very enjoyable. Released the same year as Half-Life 2 with vastly better graphics. Well, partly because it's had the graphics updated. Come on. You can move. There we are. I really was not that... I mean, I've had this discussion a few times with people, but a lot of people seem to think that Half-Life 2 is the best game ever made. Or at least the best sequel. I kind of disagree, because I honestly find that Half-Life 2 did not improve as much over the original as it could have done. I mean, it's really not a particularly, I don't know, it's hard to describe this without sounding like someone who's just generally a hater, but I really loved Half-Life 1. I played Half-Life 1 something like 19 times through, which is ridiculous, but there we are. And I only played Half-Life 2 once, and I felt no desire to ever play it again, having played it. Which I think is kind of damning in comparison. It just doesn't really seem that inventive. Anyway, over here we have some pretty stained glass angels. And what we have over here are some nice looking wooden cutouts, whose purpose we should explain shortly. Whiz down here with our stick. You can actually use these to bash people with. Not as much point in doing it, nor that you're required to do it. I'll bash the spiders with it, come on. Get him! There we are. There's one down. Also fires one hand while doing it. Pick it up. Pick it up. Okay, no, she doesn't want to pick it up. Well, I'm not sure where the spiders, I mean the spiders are some of those tropical spiders that you got from Thailand, so the implication is that uh, your father brought them back here from Thailand and they set up a little colony. But I'm not really sure they're meant to have been eating. Maybe the bats are eating the spiders. <laughs> it's just one big clusterfuck circular ecosystem. Drop it, girl, come on. This belongs over here. Anything over here? Very good. But you may notice that of little blocks here, and I'm sure you can guess what their purpose is. So, we see a little hole in this wall. Now, what we may know is that if we press space here, we can climb up. Look, goodies. There's a couple of puzzles like this. I'm not sure if there was one over on the other side. Oh, yeah, there was. So I should really have done that first. This is what comes of half remembering things. 
Okay, my plan is to do is to basically update every two days now because I have bought an external hard drive, so I can store um, the files that I've rendered. Drop it. Shoot it. Without too much difficulty now. It also means I have enough space because I can move some of my music and stuff. Anyway. All good. All done. Give you a good toss over the edge. There we go. Now, uh, I'm, I'm going to try and do sets that have been slightly shorter as well. I know the first set was an absolute monster because I tried to do the whole level in one sitting, which I'm not going to do again. Um, the second set got unfortunately truncated by a few of these effects. And 